Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another collection overview video and today I will show my wooden pens and this video is kind of an update of a previous video of the same topic that I made one year ago. At that time I had 10 wooden pens, now I have 8. So I'm going to show you what changed. So let's start. I tried to make it into a maybe a price range order and let me show you what I have here. The first pen that I want to show you is the Jin Hao uh, 51A and the Jin Hao 51A is a pen, I have two, I used to have three with three different colors. I never used this version actually and I had um, three different colors, some with the open nib and some with this hooded nib. Now I only have it with the hooded nib but I used to have more but I made a giveaway recently at my work for fountain pen day so some were given to some colleagues at work. So this is the Jinhao 51A, it's quite inexpensive, it is a pen that resembles the uh, the Parker 51. This is really wood and it is a pen that is a cartridge converter pen and that is a nice filling system. The hood I think it would be very hard to make it from wood. It is made of plastic and it is nice because it doesn't get stained with ink, of course. The next pen that I already had before in the previous video was this one, the Divine Design. I don't know really the name of this one, but let's call it Divine Design Wood Yellow. This is a pen that's kind of a school pen it has a wood barrel and it has plastic section with a rubberized uh, grip. It has this nib. I hope you can see it. And it is a very simple pen. In a way it reminds me of the Lamy Safari or some pen like that. Although this part is very very similar with the Caveco Perkeo. And it, it's really a simple pen made for school use. And it really reminds us of a school toy, maybe because of the, 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 the wood part with the plastic, uh, with all the other plastic parts. So it is an interesting pen. This one I never used also, and this is a pen that I wanted to review someday. So this is the divine design, there is a reflex there, let me try to like that. So this is divine design wood in yellow. The next pen I want to show you is, so th these two are from Jinhao 51A from China, this one is from Germany, at least the brand is German. Then I have here the Moonman. This is from a time where, when Moonman was still called Moonman. You can see there at the cap lip. This is the Moonman M6 Tiger Texture. This pen is really, really nice. It is a pen that is made of wood, the cap and barrel, all wood. And I think this pen is really nice and feels nice. It takes cartridge or converter and it has a Moonman nib that is quite interesting. However, this pen has a little defect which is it tends to dry inside the cap. Maybe there are some air leaks or maybe this wood is not treated enough and it is too... not very hair tight, I'm not sure what is the problem, but it tends to dry, which is a shame because this material is quite nice. So this is the Moonman M6 Tiger Texture. 
The next pen is also a movement, so China, China, Germany, China, China. This is the Moonman M1000, and the Moonman M1000 is, you can see there, Moonman, and it says Moonman again. Uh, the Moonman is an interesting pen, it is a copy of the Moonman Lobrac, the, of the Montblanc Lobrac. It is a, an, an interesting pen, it's really inspired by that Montblanc, even with these little metal rivets that are placed in the cap and the barrel but it has a pearly thing instead of the the logo of waterman it doesn't post it is very heavy because the section is all metal so this may be a nightmare for those people who don't enjoy metal sections because they find it slippery i don't but some people do I find this pen quite nice and it is a cartridge converter pen also. This one has some ink inside. So this is a really nice pen. I like it. It has a number six, actually like the Moonman M6. Um, it has a number six Bok nib. This one is a Bok, not a Moonman nib. So this is also an interesting pen. However, I would say this one has less uh, wood. I guess it is just kind of a little foil around the metal construction. Three more pens to go. And now we'll get a little bit more expensive. I want to show you the pen from a pen from Italy. And the pen from Italy is this. This is a beautiful Monte Grappa pen. This is the, 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 the shape is the Monte Grappa Fortuna. This pen is no longer made. And this was from the collection Heartwood. And the collection Heartwood had several different uh, colors. It had dark tick, regular tick, pearwood, walnut, and olive i think these are all i used to have the the pure wood and i had the dark tick and i sold those two and kept this one i think this pen has some nice details i like the bronze colored metal i like the bronze colored nib it is nice to see a nib of this color, also the same color on the section. And I think this matches very well this beautiful shade of brown on the, on the wood. It is, you can see the wood grain. It is a nice, interesting pen. Also, a cartridge converter pen. I'm not 100% sure if I will keep this pen forever in my collection. That's something that... I need to give it some thought. I don't use it that much and I don't reach out for wood pens that often. Okay, sorry, out of frame. Two pens to go. The next one is a nice pen that I bought here in Lisbon in the in a store that sells used stuff. And this is a Graf von Faber Castell classic in ebony it is a very nice pen it has a section that is very shiny i think it is plated with something and this one is not as shiny i would say this is kind of silver plated it is an interesting pen with a gold nib it is very good and i bought it it was very dry and with several cracks on the on the wood I didn't treat it the right way, but I put some oil on the on the pen and I think it is quite better now. I think this is a very elegant model, but again, if you don't like metal sections, if you find it slippery, yes, these may be slippery. Not for me. The section is quite long, but the nib is small. So this Montegrappa nib is also a number six nib 
and when we compare we can see that this graph on Faber-Castell is smaller. Let me get the Moonman, the Montegrappa and the graph on Faber-Castell which has a number 5 nib, but a very good nib. Graph on Faber-Castell makes even their less expensive range, only the not from here, sorry, I'm messing all around. Uh, the, even the Faber-Castell range, not uh, the luxury graph on Faber-Castell, have nice nibs. So, this is the graph on Faber-Castell classic ebony. It is very, very classy pen. And finally, a pen that I received in 2021 and it is in my top 10 pens from 2021. It's really, really a great pen. I think it was the, my favorite pen. You can see this is made of wood and it is very subtle, but you can see it is heavy. And what is this? This is the, I, I guess you already saw this pen in my channel. This is the Penteo comes from Czech Republic. This is the Penteo Samurai Ironwood. This is a pen made by hand with ironwood that comes from the United States. And then it has this Urushi lacquer on it. It is my first pen with Urushi and it's really, really a lovely pen. It is very good. It has a, a generic number six Yovo nib in medium, also a cartridge converter. This one has a very long thread cartridge converter. It is inked right now and it is a very good pen. It's not that kind of portable pen that you take everywhere. It doesn't have a clip and it is quite big, but it is a very nice pen to have in a, in a nice case and to take it out to write with this ebonite section. I, I think this pen is really a work of art and I like that. I like to know that this pen was made by hand and with lots, lots of work on it and applying this Urushi lacquer. One thing that I found is that with use and age, the Urushi tends to be maybe a little bit more clear, maybe a little reddish, I'm not sure. And you can also almost have some chatoyance, I don't know if this makes sense, in the wood, in the wood grain. This is amazing. This pen is just just gorgeous. It's a very beautiful and big pen. So, this is my collection overview of my wood pens. This video is not as, lar as long as other videos of my collection overviews because I don't have many of these pens. So, do you have wooden pens? If you do, please Tell me your experience and tell me if you have any of the pens that I showed you here today. So, this is all that I had to show. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to meet you here soon again. So, bye.